Babe, I, I don't even want to make this video. I literally like went into all 20 trees and haven't gotten anything. <sighs> Last tree. Oh! Oh! I... What? <laughs> what? Oh, we got it. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Philly Beats You and welcome to the ultimate honey tree guide in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. In this video, we're gonna be covering all the honey tree locations, exactly what spawns in the honey trees, the little bit of technical analysis behind the honey trees that really doesn't matter, and the Pokemon that you can get. If you enjoy videos like this, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and without further ado, let's get on into the video. So in order to access the whole entire honey guide in the game, you're going to have to first go to Floroma Town, which you will encounter in your main story. You're going to defeat Team Galactic, and then you'll get access to this nice flowery area. You'll be talking to this guy over here, and he'll talk about Pokemon being attracted to trees slathered with honey, and he'll offer you honey for a hundred. It's not too expensive, Not it's not too bad. By the way, if you don't wanna spend money every time to buy honey, I know it's really cheap, but some people just don't wanna spend money. You can literally get five combies, level them all the way up, and they have this ability called Honey Gatherer, and they'll be able to pick up honey all the time once you level 91 to 100. So 50% chance on five combies in your party, or six if you're crazy and wanna have that many combies, and gather as much honey as you can. That way you can just slather them on the trees at all time. And if you're lazy to fly back to Florida Town, well, now you have a way of doing that. I just wanted to put that out there just for the sake of it because this exists in the game. And pretty much once you have your honey, you're gonna be applying it to very specific trees that are golden. Seriously, just look for the golden trees that are on your map. Don't try to run up to these regular trees and smack honey and wonder why they're not working. The honey trees are very specific in the game, so there you go, that's the picture for them. Here's a list of all the Pokemon that you can find within the honey trees in the game. You got Munchlax, which is a 1% chance that spawns in the honey trees, but it does not matter because you can find Munchlax down in the Grand Underground. Heracross is a 5% chance that you can find it in these honey trees. Heracross is a big deal because this is one of the only places you can find Heracross in the game. You got Apom at 15%, Burmy as well. Burmy is one of the only other ones you can also find in the honey trees. So the main two you want to focus on is Heracross and Burmy. Then you have Cherubi, Combi at 20%, Cherubi at 15%, and Wormpole just sitting there at 30%. There's a lot of complicated videos and information about certain trees being Munchlax trees, which is a possibility. It's three to four trees in your game that could have the Munchlax, but the problem is they all jarble up their different tables and still could give you the same Pokemon that you can find in any tree. Basically, the only way for you to know if you have a Munchlax tree is for a Munchlax to spawn. You can save before the tree and shiny hunt that Pokemon before you encounter it. That's literally the only benefit of the tree. Otherwise, treat it as a regular tree and go for the Heracross and the Burmy. If you go to your map and hit plus, you'll notice you have location information. You can see berries, you can see all the trees in the game. And if you count, there are 21 trees and these are all the locations for them. When you go ahead and slather honey, you'll then get a icon that fills in the tree. You will then start to get a sparkling tree that they're ready for you to go ahead and check the tree. There are a few rules about the honey trees that you guys need to know. Number one, once you apply the honey, it's going to take six real world hours for something to appear in the trees. It could take more than six hours, but after the six hour mark, it's gonna take 24 hours from that time till the Pokemon disappears. Number two, do not time skip or date skip. This will cause the trees to reset or not work properly. Number three, make sure you save before your tree encounter, just in case you want to decide to shiny hunt that Pokemon. And number four, the moment you encounter that Pokemon and complete that encounter when checking, just simply reapply the honey again while you're there so you don't have to make an entire journey around just to apply the honey. You do it while you're checking it. I'll now be showing you how to get to all the honey trees, literally just live gameplay of me going through it. And after that, we're gonna start checking the trees to see what we get. And then that surprise encounter we have at the end. Okay, so the first one you're gonna be placing the honey on is in the flowery, flower, flowery meadow. Then you're gonna go over to the Valley Windworks and go to the tree here, slap some honey on. This is literally to the right of Floroma Town. Then after this, you're gonna go a little bit north, right over to Route 205 and place some honey there. Go further north from here, 
go around this hiker, go around this grass. You got surf on, or you reach surf at this point, go through this area. I'm surprised nothing in the game really made us go to this building. This building just sits here, the Fuego Ironworks. I didn't even know this existed until I took surf. You apply honey as well in this tree. Then after this, you're gonna fly over to Canalave City, go down and exit to the right. Then you'll be on Route 218. You'll see a tree, place the honey there. Next tree you're gonna go to is fly over to Orberg City, which is the rock gym area. You're just gonna go north of the city. If you got your bike, get it ready. You gotta climb up this little sand hill. You'll find another tree here, slap some honey on this. Then go further north, cut through this little bark here, and then you'll find one right underneath the bicycling route. Place your honey on that. Nice. Then you're going to head over to Eterno City. Go over there to the left of it. Apply some honey. Slap it. Continue on going to the left of Eterno City. Cross this little bridge here. See this little path. Follow it down. Cut. Go through that. Make a left. And then you'll find another honey tree at this point right here. This is like the secret entrance or the secret behind area of Eterna City. Next, you're going to go to Celestic Town. And once you're there, you're going to head to the left of it. And the tree should be right there. Go ahead, put some honey on it. Next on the list, you're going to go to Hearthome City. So go ahead, fly over there. This one's going to be easy. You're going to go all the way down here and then exit out of the west exit first. Which will bring you on Route 208. There's a tree right over here. Slap some honey on it. Go back into the city. Then go south of the city to Route 212. And then you're going to see another tree in this little area enclosed. Slap some honey on that. Then I flew back to Hearthome City and I went right to the east exit. Keep going to the right. Cross this bridge here. A lot of joggers in this area. Then place the honey right here. After that, head north all the way up. All the way up. See the little tree here? And slap it with honey. Great. Now you're going to move on. Route 215. Go up this bridge, come down these stairs. There's the next tree. After this, you're gonna fly over to Pastoria City. Get to Pastoria City and you're gonna come down here. Keep going down. Exit to the west part. You'll be on Route 212. It's gonna become very rainy. You're gonna see a lot of grass here. If you have repels, turn one on so you can avoid this. This is probably one of the most annoying trees to get to because of all the muck and puddles. But yeah, slap some on here. I then fly right back to the exact same city again, and I go towards the east exit this time. This will lead me to Route 213, where I'm going to go down here, and there's going to be a rock that you're going to have to use the rock smash on. Another secret tree is hidden here amongst all these. So go ahead, slap some honey on this tree. Then head over to Veilstone City. From Veilstone City, you're going to exit south of the city. Go down to Route 214. Continue on down to this fencing area. Keep going. A lot, lot of fences here. A lot of fences here. Then you'll see the tree. Come around to it, then slap some honey on it. Next place you want to go is all the way to Sunny Shore City. From Sunny Shore City, I exit to the west, Route 222, and it's going to be right there at the north part of this. Then fly over to Romana's Park, which is the end game stuff, and then head left to Romana's Park and slap some honey on the tree right here. Finally, you're going to go back to Celestic Town. I, I saved this one for last because I found this one a lot more annoying than doing this at the beginning of Celestic Town. So I go to the right. Got to keep going. Got to go up, cross this bridge. It's, it's quite the journey to get to this tree. I keep going. I take the rock, 
Rock climb. Go, go, go back up. Perfect. Go down. Then there's a little tree in this enclosure. And I slap the bark with honey. And we're pretty much done. Now time to show you guys some of the Pokemon that I got. Okay, so I'm basically going to show you guys all the unique highlights I got through these trees and then cut to the last clip. But the first tree is not Heracross. It is a worm pool. Very cool caterpillar. Then we're going to go to the Valley Windworks, try to get Heracross. We get a Combi. Not too bad. We get the next tree. This tree does not show up. Nothing showed up here. Okay, we're going to keep moving on. This tree is a Silicoon. Not also a Heracross. Maybe there's a Heracross inside of that. Check out this tree. Can it be? It was shaking. It is an Apom. Never mind. Not a Heracross. This tree can maybe be a Heracross. Nope, it's a Burmy, but this is pretty good because this is also very unique to that area or to the honey trees. Then we got a Cherubi. And finally, the last clip. Okay, this is the last one. Babe, I, I don't even want to make this video. I literally like went into all 20 trees and haven't gotten anything. <sighs> last tree. Oh! Oh! I... What? <laughs> what? Oh! We got it! Oh! I was literally gonna... Oh my god! I thought I had to wait another six hours! I'm gonna throw a Premier Ball at this. Let's secure it, secure it, secure it, secure it. One, two, three. Yes! And that, everyone, is the ultimate honey tree guide in a nutshell. The feeling you get when you get hair across was absolutely amazing. I was ready to quit, but I got really lucky at the end. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe for more content like this, and I will see you guys in the next video. This is Philly Beats You, and I'm out.